Hello everyone. Today is Monday. Um, today you're going to be starting your final Chinese quilling project. Uh, I want to make sure that you all uh, remember the requirements that you need for the project. Um, don't forget that you want to um, use strips of construction paper. Um, and with that, the construction paper is going to help you to create those little pieces that you're going to use uh, for your quilling. Um, it, it's really a beautiful work of art once you start it. Um, it's really interesting to see what you can do with it. Um, but the main thing is you want to try to make sure that you um, create works of art that kind of goes from um, having different techniques that, that we discussed as well. So let me share my screen with you. All right, so let's look at this. All right, so um, you want to create a composition like you see here using those quilling techniques. You're going to need a hard piece of paper for the background. Um, it can be, um, you can use poster board if you want, um, but that's up to you. Um, but you can use poster board um, if you want to try that um, and see how that goes. And um, you'll use poster board and then you're going to try to use these techniques that you see here that you went over last week, you can incorporate them in your piece. I would recommend making so many of a certain kind and putting them together to make your piece. Remember that this is gonna be due on Friday, so you're gonna upload your progress today and get started. You need glue, scissors, and your structure paper, okay? Um, so think about that as far as what you want to do um, for your design and kind of go ahead and um, upload that um, for your grade today. So you're gonna go ahead and start that and um, get that underway so you can um, create your image. Remember that you're trying to manipulate the paper, you're trying to fold that paper so it can create um, that particular um, design um, that you're looking for. So you wanna fold that paper, manipulate that paper to create some type of um, piece. Um, so look up Chinese quilling, look up different types of designs and it'll help you to figure out what to do as well. Um, so go ahead and get started and upload your progress today. All right, thank you.